A common question that pops up between religious people and atheists is, who made God? From popular atheist debaters to the common atheist internet troll, this question is absurdly thought to be a valid argument against God. Well, yes, mainly in the realm of a teleological art. Basically, when somebody says that the universe looks designed and so therefore it was designed or it had to have an intelligent designer or had to be intelligently created. Well, then the question becomes, well, if that's the case, then who designed or created your God? Because it seems like if you're applying that kind of universally, then it would also have to apply to your God. Typically, the way that apologists get out of this is saying, oh, well, my God doesn't need to be created. It, it just is eternal and it comes a special pleading argument but i'm sure that he's not gonna do this now here are three reasons why this question is about as useful as asking me if an egg is a fruit or a vegetable oh so this is just another apologist video where he shifts goalposts and he pushes God into the special pleading realm, huh? Is that all that you're going to do is you're just going to specially plead for your God this entire video? Number one, logic. The question assumes God is a finite created entity. When God by definition, in the traditional theological sense, is an uncreated eternal being. Therefore, the question itself is absurd. So instead of actually answering the question, honestly, your answer is to say, oh, I never claimed that God was some kind of finite being. I have trouble with things that don't exist in reality. If the thing doesn't exist in reality, then there's no reason for me to say that it exists. So if God is so super special that he exists outside of all reality, it just seems like you're pushing the goalpost to a point where you think I can't make that goal. But if you push God outside of reality, then there's no reason to think God is real. But also, this whole eternally existing and uncreated, why can't this also apply to just the fabric of reality in general? If other universes do exist, then reality must stretch outside of our own particular universe. And our universe isn't necessarily the only universe that has existed. So does God control all these other universes? If he's outside of reality, what does that even fucking mean? It's illogical to specially plead for your particular deity and just ad hoc asserting that your God's eternal without any kind of evidence to suggest that he is eternal or even exists. It's just the bane of all apologetic arguments. 